Alina Rabakina versus Yulia Putintseva is the third quarter final for the ladies Madrid Masters for 2024. And both these ladies have a different rose to get to this stage. Putintseva started the tournament unseeded and will take on Yuan in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-4. In the second round, she take on the number six seed Zhang, the Australian Open finalist who hadn't been great the last couple of months. And after winning the first set, Zhang would be forced to retire with Putintseva winning 7-5, two love retirement. In the third round, she take on Dollahide, who'd just taken out Kalanina in the previous round. But again, Again, no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-2. In the fourth round, she take on Kazakina, the number 10 seed. And this was a battle. After losing the first set, putting Seva would fight back to win. 3-6, 6-2, 6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. Rebecca entered the tournament as the number four seed. And we'll get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Bronzetti. This is no problem getting through in straight sets. 6-4, 6-3. In the third round, she take on Sharif, who had just beaten Kostruk the previous round. But again, no problem for Rebecca getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-4. In the fourth round, she take on the qualifier by Lech who have beaten Callan Skyer in the second round to get here. But again, we're back in a two strong, getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have played twice before, with Putin Seva winning both their matches, including a match on clay back in 2020 against Rabakina in a three-setter. So Putin Seva coming into this has got to feel pretty good about her chances, despite Rabakina being a way higher ranked player. If Putin Seva's going to win this one, she needs to use the confidence of winning those last two matches, even though the last win was about three years ago. Still, a 2-0 record is a huge psychological advantage, and also trying to get Rabakina moving around. Of course, she has a winning strategy because she's beaten Rabakina, so she just has to use that against Rabakina to get through the win. Rabakina's going to win this one. She needs to forget about the history. And also, well, three years ago, I wasn't the same player because she wasn't three years ago. You know, 2021, Rabakina wasn't this number four in the world Grand Slam champion. So she's got to use those skills that she's learned since their last match, including the big serve and the big ground strokes to bully Putin Seva. Really fun matchup. Two players from Kazakhstan, teammates on the Fed Cup team going at each other. But I gotta go with Rabakina in this one. She's been playing so well, not just this week or last week, but this year. She's been the best player of the year, playing so, so consistent. I reckon she gets this one, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the semis.